What's up, everyone? Everyone, transport here. Welcome back to another final goodbye video f for New Speed World, and we're looking at the Fox Monero VXR. It's here. It's ready. Why didn't they release it? You know, it, you know, it's just it's just one of those cars. You just say, well, EA, we stop sitting on not not EA because it's just the the, 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 the publisher. Black box, quick lamp, stop sitting on your hands and thumbs and release our damn cars so we can have fun and drive them. And this one here was ready all this time. We even had an achievement for this car. It was ready, it was sitting there, but we never got the car at all. Even after the game ended, even before the game ended, we never got the car. It's been sitting here, you know, gathering dust. Well, anyway, boohoo for them. Now I'm gonna drive it and see just why this thing was never released. I have, and to be honest, seeing uh, most of the videos, I don't think there should be really that much reason, but I'm gonna check it out for myself using my knowledge and whatever uh, rubbish I have stored up in this uh, glock of a head to see why they've tarnished and thrown away this uh, Australian version of Partech GTL. First, we must tune her though. Uh, actually, since it's at B527, let's see, should we compare it to another muscle car? I think we should. Here it is at B599. Uh, well, that top speed is sort of questioning. Acceleration is 657, not very, not as high as uh, 700s reached by the MR2, or even like the 680s or 690s reached by the, uh, the Mustang Boss 302. So would have wouldn't have compete wouldn't be much of a competition uh, against the um, the B class because it kind of look at how low that thing is not really high oh well, that's sort of high but not as high as say like like the kings of the B class you you, you know your Eclipse your MR2 your Mustang bosses your M3 Spirit Evo and all that not as high and it's handling it's not bad either. But I don't think this is high, high as it is. So, with that said, let's see if, how we're doing the A class. Fully modded with the greens and the reds of the elites. And as you can see, uh, not S class high like the Capri or the um, the Elise or the Exige or the 914.6. So, I mean, it's stock with no parts in it at a B and then the high this only gets a 7-Eleven. So that's sort of questioning. I don't know what's going on there. But uh, let's put back my setup and then see if I can compare with it. So this is my setup just to decrease uh, oversteering everything and give it this maximum amount of grip because I'm a gripper. I'm a grip hog. I'm a grip hog. That's pretty much my setup and I love acceleration. I mean, acceleration is 755, not really that high either, so I wonder what's, I wonder why it's so low. I mean, I mean, there are, obvi there are obviously sort of reasons, but that's kind of disappointing to be honest. I was picking higher. Oh well. Aftermarket shop. Oh, look at here. This car had body kits. It was ready. It had body kits. Look at it. Uh, classic carbon stuff. What is this? This is the uh, the uh, body kit that those. Uh, if it was a GTO, this is the body kit that was level four undercover and level three and level four GTOs would use for most wanted and uh, carbon. That's that's mad. That's mad. Ooh, wide body. Is there a high any higher? What is this? Oh, it's perfect. I'm using that. These spoilers stink, to be honest. I don't like them. They're not wide enough. They're not wild enough. And it's pretty basic. Oh well. Oh, wait a minute. I've always wanted to get these rims. I've always wanted these rims. I never let get these rims. Yeah. No, that's for when I customize my Fur Lady Z. Wait a minute. They have these two? Oh my god. What else did I miss here? Oh, that's it. Boohoo. Whatever, I'm using my RSGTs. Yeah, cause those are rad. License plate. I should put that because Vauxhall is car, even though it does look American. Well, to me, obviously. It is 
Vauxhall, which is like pretty much British GM, even though it is Australian. But Holden in in Britain is Vauxhall, so we'll go with that. Wait a minute, this Toga Union decal actually works. Even in the even in the end, this thing has never worked. It's always come in like a black shade. It's never worked for me. Super promotion. Where's the Apex Glide thing? What is this? They even have the real backside. If his front bumper. What the heck? This is just me first seeing these things. Oh, great. Oh, oh, oh. See now, you just struck a last nerve, black box. Why weren't these released? Give it. A black top roof. Here the black top roof mirror. And this should be easy because there's like black top lining there, so it won't really max. Should really max. Oh, I've done it over. There. Done. She looks powerful. Yep, yeah, that's what we'll do nicely. Might look boring, but she looks quite powerful. Okay, so let's assess the situation. This is the Monero VXR. It's got a V8, obviously, and lots of other stuff in it. Already sounding like a hefty challenge, the challenger. Not like, not like a challenger, not like a Mopar thing, but. It definitely has some sort of it's like its own brand of V8 rumble. So at 7-Eleven, this former B-class thing has strong nitrous, so I can do over 200. This corner around here, and it does have pretty good grip, though. If that's the case. I wonder how I do against the Camaro. Camaro Z ZL1. Because this car does have strong nitrous, it does grip pretty well. Ooh. I just like sort of sort of. Whoa, 220! Ah! That's not gone well. Right, onto the freeway. Wrong way, genius. Onto the freeway. Shark and I just hit. This is addicting. I see why now it's addicting to you, God. You love strong nitrous. Alright, let's see how fast you can go. 234. 240. Wow, 215 max. This thing is quick. 215 max. That's not even as fast as my ultimate Jeep. What are they hiding in this thing? Oh, 13, 14, 15. 215 miles an hour at 701. It's my setup. I'm gonna put the same setup on my Camaro and see which is Camaro Z01 and see which is faster. Actually, should I put on the Mustang? I feel like I should put on the Mustang. Because technically this is a B-class vehicle. And that also was a B-class vehicle. So that makes some sort of sense. Alright, so here's the same setup on the Mustang Boss 30269. And handling down here, and that puts a major effect up here. Because my Voxel was at 701. Here it's at 7676, but its acceleration is much higher than that of my Voxel 764. And even top speed 738. This thing is pretty damn quick. So how fast are you? How fast are you, mate? Let's see. I'm about to punch it at the deep end. Three, two, one, punch it. Two, no, nine. That foxhole is quick. So let's see if this car does pack the torque and the power on the straightaway when we're doing drag racing. I've always thought that was a UFO. Isn't that weird? I, I, I thought that was weird. As you recall, the Mustang was probably one of the fastest, quickest accelerating muscles in the B-Class. 
I think it did about 130 with the B599. I don't know. I remember. I don't remember. But this should be pretty quick. No acceleration now. Three, two, one, go! Lots of wheel spin on the, at the start. 130. 137. Can the Vauxhall beat that? Vauxhall time. Three, two, one, go! Ooh, not a lot of wheel spin there. 100, 10, 20, 30, 136! So, nearly there. It did sort of hit 37, but 136 is what I last saw. So, the Mustang does have better acceleration. Right, cornering now. Let's see just how well this Vauxhall with my setup corners. Oh, 87. Registering in 80. Uh oh, 86. It can do faster than that. This is like flat out cornering now. Eighty-seven. Eighty-seven. Eighty-eight. Eighty-seven. If I when I, when I flat it out, it is eighty-six board. If I keep everything balanced, it's eighty-seven, eighty-eight. So I'm taking I'm taking eighty-seven. Eighty-seven miles an hour around there. I don't think the Mustang could beat that there. Begin cornering. Oh, wait a minute, that's too flat out, oh wait a minute, it's about the same, hold on, I know it's probably because I'm doing it wrong, hold on. Yes, run about round 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 okay come on. Okay, once I go over eighty seven I go out of out of the circle. If I keep it round here eighty six, eighty five, eighty six, I stick in. Eighty seven I go out. Eighty eighty six I stick in. So I'm gonna take eighty six. Not as quick, but nil uh, just about so the the line between them is this thin so now we gotta put these things together and we're gonna take these take both of them to Main Street and Great Point because I love those tracks anyway uh, and see which is faster before I go uh, so we, let me summarize the Vauxhall Monero VXR uh, well, obviously the car was ready it was ready they had body kits strong nitrous it was definite B class competitor if it would and if it can compete with the Mustang at, when you lead to it and it compete, or it could have been a competitive thing in the B class I mean it had as much a higher size as the Roadrunner and that Roadrunner was pretty good in the B class so I mean I don't know they pretty much kept it away from us but the thing is the and I put street parts, street parts on it it was a B599 the Mustang uh, I could put like race and pros on it, it'll reach P599, the, uh, the Vauxhall streets would make it to three, five, B599, so I'm not sure about stuff there, but in the, in the long run, I'd say that uh, th the car was ready, I think it was ready, I don't know why they kept it away from us, so anyway, enough of that, I wish they would have released it to us, oh well, let's compare these two cars and call it a day.